armor, 9 tribes total and 7 tribes at launch. Each tribe has their own motive, armor, influence on the environment and design of the buildings. But every tribe also has a special weapon. This weapon gives them a certain weapon that works like an ability. In this video we'll show you the different special weapons for each of the tribes, with the exception of the DLC tribes of course, them being the Outlaw and Slaughter tribe. Let's start with the Dark tribe. The Dark tribe members are hardcore Sauron fans and generally stay stealthy or fight in the dark. Their special weapon of choice are curved daggers, which can be used to counter enemy attacks and cut their limbs and head from their bodies. Moving on to Feral, well, are the Beastmasters of course, they control nature. The Feral tribe has special claws mounted on their gauntlets. They can tackle their opponent and smack the ever living shit out of them. Moving on to the Machine tribe. The Machine tribe revolves around industry and metal. Their special weapon is a chain hook. They can throw this at their opponent, it then penetrates them, it grapples them and the opponent gets pulled back towards them after which they slam him into the ground. This deals a massive amount of damage. Moving on to the tribe that only cares about riches, the Marauder tribe. They of course are all about the wealth with their gold armor. Their special weapons yes I said weapons, are the dual wielded crossbows. They can whip them out and start firing away at you or any other opponent to quickly deal a lot of damage. They can also be used to finish you or any enemy off. This works in a similar fashion to the last chance feature. From Marauder we move on to the Necromancing tribe which is of course Mystic. The Mystic tribe revolves around necromancy and raising the dead their special weapon is the Mystic Blade, building. It allows them to teleport behind their opponent and stab them with a Morgul Blade, dealing curse damage. These Morgul Blades are similar to the ones that are used by the Nazgul when they stab Frodo in Lord of the Rings. From Mystic we move on to Terror. The Terror tribe is all about fear and in intimidation. And so is their special weapon. They use chain sights. These are essentially elongated blades on the end of metal chains that can be used for whip-like and whirlwind attacks at range. This makes them extremely dangerous against multiple enemies from both close and kind of long range. And finally the final tribe that we will see at launch is of course the Warmonger tribe. They are all about war and weapons. Their weapons of choice are gauntlets which they can use to grapple your sword attacks and beat the crap out of you or any other orc. You can escape this, if you don't it deals kind of a lot of damage. Of course there are still two tribes left, the outlaw and slaughter tribes, since they aren't released yet we don't know their special weapons, we'll have to wait for that. Before we end the video we want to know what you think is the best special weapon out of these seven tribes. Of course we'll have to wait for the Outlaw and Slaughter tribe and they might have some pretty awesome weapons as well. Personally I think the Machine Hook is the, the coolest weapon. Maybe not necessarily the best but at least the coolest. Uh, even though I don't think it's the coolest tribe. But I have to say that every special weapon for every tribe has something cool about it. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you disliked the video, please also leave a like. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel to stay up to date for, with our content. And if you really want to stay up to date and get instant notifications, you can click the notification bell. You know how that works. And another thing we want to ask of you guys is to leave some constructive feedback, mainly on the art style, the commentary and the content itself. So if you have any questions, want to share ideas, feedback or you want to start a discussion let us know in the comment section down below once again we want to thank you for watching stay awesome and have a good day bye bye <laughs>